What's up Team Buckhouse, Jonathan Buckhouse here. And in today's video, I'm here for the beginners. I'm gonna teach you guys how to get on and off of a ski lift. So let's jump into it. Now as snowboarders, getting off of this chairlift is one of the most terrifying things and you're probably gonna fall a lot. And it's a little tricky and it takes some time to learn, but we need to learn how to do it properly and safely because it's one way you can get pretty broke off. So we need to make sure that we work on getting off the chairlift, but getting onto the chairlift, it seems simple. I just sit down on a chair and I'm good to go. But here are some tips that are gonna make sure that you get on the chairlift every single time without eating it. Step number one is know where your weight lines are. You're gonna have a weight line while the chairlift comes around the bull wheel in front of you and then you follow behind that chairlift. Next is there's gonna be another weight line and that's where you're gonna stand waiting for your chairlift to come. Now the biggest thing is you need to take your head and look behind you and look for that chairlift that's coming your way. You don't wanna just be sitting looking this direction and then get surprised by a chair behind you. That's not fun. You wanna turn around and look. I highly recommend grabbing the chair before sitting down because then you like, like all your senses kick in and you really know where you're gonna sit. We've all sat down a trillion times, so this is something we should be able to handle. The other thing is when you're kicking out to the chair, make sure you're kicking the proper way. A lot of people like to kick with their foot in front like they're skateboarding. That actually makes you more unbalanced, believe it or not, when you're snowboarding. Kicking with your leg behind you is a safer, more balanced position. Because you have the ability to just stand on this leg and kind of go up and down. So it's step, step. When you're this way, it's super awkward. A little extra bonus if you put your foot under your high back like this, it relieves a lot of pressure on your knee while you're sitting here on the lift. Now when we're getting off the chairlift, you wanna be in like a ready position. You're gonna get your board flat as you're coming off that chair. You have two options. You can push your foot against this binding or you can push it against your other binding. I prefer the kind of like standing like in the middle position and having a stomp pad will actually help you out if you don't have a stomp pad i have them linked in the description it's a pad that sits on your pier it's a pad that sits on your snowboard kind of gives you something to grip onto while you're getting on and off the chairlift but where a lot of people go wrong is they quickly step off their snowboard you need to commit to keeping your foot on the board the other thing you need to commit to is your weight being over your leg that's still strapped in that leg that is strapped in has a lot of control you need to trust it and not worry like oh you got one foot i'm gonna jump off to start and you're gonna fall another huge mistake that beginners do is they grab their friends don't grab your friend then everybody's gonna fall off the chairlift if you're the beginner in the group right on the right side of the chairlift where there's no one in front of you it's going to help you not grab anyone but it's also going to make sure that you don't get worried about the people around you because they're behind you and you're not seeing them so sit on the right side or left side if you're goofy of the chairlift so no one in front of you so you're not grabbing them the other thing is don't be afraid to ask the lifty to slow down the chairlift that's something that they're super used to doing so just if you feel like i'm a little this is coming fast can you slow it down make sure you tell them a little early and they'll slow it down for you so at this point of the chairlift you'll throw your bar up if you have a bar down and basically you're getting ready to get off the lift so keep your board completely straight you're going to take your hands put them on the chair Go to the, where it says unload here, stand up, push off all your weight. One of the biggest things people do that messes them up is they don't just ride straight off the lift. They try to like turn or, or they try to go to like the side, which causes them to fall. When you're learning how to get off the lift, just stay straight and keep going until you run out of speed. Now, if you're struggling with getting on and off the chairlift, I don't recommend going up with a full chairlift. But if you are, make sure the whole group is ready to get off the chairlift at the same time. And then I do recommend being the last person off the chair. Let all your friends that know how to get off go. Be patient and last second that you get off. And then that's just going to help you not clutter up with the whole group and everything. Now, when you're sitting on the lift, you do have the option to pull the safety bar down. Some people yell at me because I don't put it down because I don't feel like it makes me that much safer. But just so you know, the majority of ski lifts, especially all the new ones, they do have a safety bar and it does allow you to rest your foot depending on the chairlift. This one does not have a little safety bar for you to rest your foot. Another good thing that's just gonna help you overall get on and off the chairlift is to practice your one foot skating around. So get to the mountain strap in and kind of skate around the maze area like before you get in line, just like kick around. So you get confident being one foot in the snowboard because if you feel super uncomfortable, you can barely get to the lift. 
your chances of being able to get off the lift on strap day are just gonna go down. So practice a little bit. Take that extra five to 10 minutes to figure that out. All right, guys, this is one of the most important things and I hope these tips help you. If I left anything out or if you have some special tips, comment them down below. Let's help people get better at snowboarding because that's the point of this channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because my goal is to help all of you become the best snowboarders possible as well as you're joining the strongest ski and snowboard community on the internet by smashing subscribe. Also, if this video helped you, smash the like button. And if you really want to support the dream, snag an evolution sticker. Those are all linked in the description, as well as my hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves. If you snag any of the merch, just tag me on my Instagram and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs. But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for shredding with me. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no cliffhanger, yes.